morning students after completing the uh, basic lecture uh, today i am going to start your first lecture on the subject theory of automata and formal language that is tafl so start with the term automata so what is automata automata is the plural of automaton it means something that work automatically and if we want to explain the basic definition of the automata then the automata can be considered as a system where energy material and information are transformed for performing some specific task without direct participation of man here these are two points in this definition first one is the specific task and another is the without direct participation of man so a specific task means the task must be well defined and without direct participation of man means the participation of human being must be indirect means human being can design the system but not directly participate in that system so this is the basic definition of automata now the famous example of the automata is the automatic photo printing machine and the packing machine etc these are the example now automaton can be considered as an abstract computing device which process discrete information so the discrete model of the automata can be explained by using these uh, three component that is the set of inputs set of outputs and the set of states so i1 in this diagram i1 i2 ip are the set of inputs and o1 o2 o3 are the set of outputs and here the new thing is the state that is q1 q2 up to qn so these are the states now i want to explain the simple example of these states outputs and the inputs by using the real life example so let me consider the simple example of this bulb the objective is to light the bulb here so the input can be considered as a switch and output is light bulb and here the states of the bulb can be considered as on or off so there may be only two states of the bulb that is on, that may be on that is on or off right so this model can be uh, designed by using the finite automata and uh, the finite automata can be represented as there are two states i already told you that is on or off so right here these are two states off and on so initially the bulb is off so start with the off as soon as i flip the switch the switch will be uh, the bulb will be light the bulb will be on and again if we flip the switch the bulb will be off again we flip the switch then bulb will be on so the same working of this simple uh, bulb or this system can be explained by the diagram and diagram this diagram can be called or can be considered as the transition diagram so the simple definition of the transition diagram is a transition diagram is a directed graph that consists the set of vertices and the set of edges where vertices represent the states and edges represent the input or out and here the two terms are very important first is the simple circle with an arrow this one is called the initial state because there are lot of states in the transition diagram so if the circle with an arrow that can be considered as the initial state and if the state is represented by two concentric circles then it is considered as the final states and uh, these are the basic terminology that can be used that is very uh, essential to understand the working of this automata so the first one is the alphabet alphabet is a finite non empty set of symbols that is the in, uh, for example in input alphabet or you can say the english language the input alphabets are small a to k small z for the binary number the alphabet can be considered as 0 and 1 and for the decimal number it can be considered as 0 to 9 and alphanumeric 
in this case capital a to capital z small a to small z and 0 to 9 and uh, the string is a word is a finite sequence of symbols that is uh, taken from the input alphabet so this is the simply the string and empty string means the null string that can be represented by null sign or by using the epsilon sign and length of the string is just number of element in that string that can be considered as the length of the string so this is the basic background about the automata now let us uh, start a first machine that is the deterministic finite automata that is dfa so this is the basic machine of this subject eafl theory of automata and formal language so this df dfa consists of basically three parts first one is the input tape second is the head and third one is the finite control the input head input tape is divided into equal size of blocks and these blocks are called cells these blocks are called cells and at a time one input symbol is stored on a particular cell and the job of head is to read the symbol from the cell at, at a time it can read only the one cell on a single uh, input and automatically we will consider in case of automata means fine deterministic finite automata that after reading one symbol head will move to the right direction automatically there is no need to write or no need to mention the direction here uh, it, the head will automatically move to the right and third one is the finite control the job of finite control is to decide whether which state we have to move right so this is the basic model of deterministic finite automata mathematically we can also explain the same thing by using the tuple so this deterministic finite automata can be explained by using five tuples that is q sigma delta q naught or f so the purpose and the uh, meaning of each and every tuple here is q is the finite set of states means uh, any uh, any state total number of states belongs to the uh, belongs to the symbol capital q suppose in a uh, transition diagram there are six states that is q0 to q5 so all these q0 to q5 states belongs to the uh, belongs to the symbol capital q means q is a set of states and second one is the sigma sigma is the input alphabet suppose the input is a b 1 0 whatever so this 0 or 1 or a or v this is the input alphabet belongs to the sigma now the important part here is the transition function so how the transition function works so actually this transition function uh, can be performed on the state as well as the input means the transition transition function can be moved uh, we can move by using the transition function in the diagram and uh, we will see the example uh, to move uh, to explain this uh, transition working of this transition function in detail now and uh, another thing is the q0 q0 is what it is the initial states or uh, it is uh, it is noted that in case of the q uh, in case of the any machine initial state must be the single so this means q0 is only the single state so that all uh, that is also the part of capital q that i already told you that the set of states and finally the capital f represent the final states it may be the set of final states it means more than one state may be the final states so this is the basic representation by using the tuple or you can say mathematical representation of deterministic finite automata now we will explain each and everything by using this diagram so in this case the input alphabet that is sigma so we can use the input a or v so in this diagram you can see we are moving from one state to another state only by using a small a or by using a small b so a small a and a small b can be considered as the input alpha wave and second is i already told you about the finalist about the set of state that is capital q 
Capital Q means the set of all state in the machine. So in this machine, you, are, you can see easily Q0 to Q5, total number of states are six. So capital Q means all the states in this machine. That is Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and Q5. So this is under the uh, set of state that is the capital Q. And next one is the initial state where the machine will start. So in this diagram, Q0 is the initial state where this machine will start. And uh, this initial state is uh, represented by, I already told you, by using the circle and the arrow. So this is the representation of initial state. So in this diagram, if I want to ask you what will be the initial state, so simply Q0 is the initial state. What about the final state? Final state is the simply rep uh, representation by two concentric circles, right? So in this case, Q4 will be the final state because it is represented by two concentric circles. You can see easily in this diagram. So this is all about the tuples except the transition function. Now, the important point is the transition function because it shows the working and uh, execution of any machine. So how this transition function works? So let's see. The suppose you are in state Q0 and now suppose you, want, you are getting the input A. So in case you are moving to state Q1. So how can we see this one? We start from Q0. In this case, we, uh, you, we are using here, this is the A is the input alphabet. So on state initial state that is Q0, reading input symbol A, we are moving to Q1. So how this can be represented? This can be represented by the diagram also. In this case, Q0, then after reading A, we are moving to Q1. And again, uh, we can see here in this diagram, clearly we can see that uh, after reading this A, after reading this V, we are moving to Q5. And another is, Q2 to B that is moving to Q3 and this is the uh, simple another representation of the transition function. So the transition function can also be represented by using the transition table. So the same transitions are represented by two ways. First one is the transition function or so, sorry first one is the transition uh, diagram and another is the transition table. So the same thing can be represented by two ways. So let's see the example. In this example, total number of uh, states are Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and Q5. There are six states. So write all the states in this vertical form. In this case, you can see the transitions uh, uh, on state Q0. After reading A, we are moving to Q1, right? So in this case, we are moving to Q1. So here you can see clearly Q0 to A, that is Q1. So here, just we have to mark Q0 to A, that is Q1. Then Q0 to B, we are moving to Q5. So just write here Q5. So this is simply, this is all, uh, this is all about the transition table. And suppose, uh, let's see the another example. Suppose you are in state Q2. So in state Q2, after getting B, we are moving to state Q3. And on getting input A, we are moving to Q5. So in this table, in on input A, that is Q5. And on input B, we are state is Q3. So the transition function, the working of transition function can be represented by transition diagram and the transition table. So for representing any machine, or if we want to represent the functioning of any machine, we can represent by using transition diagram or by using transition function. So in this case, uh, I uh, in this case I uh, can understand that the simple tuples of the DFA or the simple working of DFA is completed.